Hi there. This is a long time since um, I've done a video, so let's see if I can remember how it goes. Today I'm attempting to throw um, lampshades of porcelain and a blend of black and white porcelain. So I've got um, 550 grams of white porcelain and 100 grams of black porcelain. Um, and the shape that I'm aiming at is a simple cone shape. It's a very different business throwing pure porcelain. So it takes quite a bit of getting your hand in, as does any shape. Changing from one shape to another uh, is not, not a rapid process. Um, and certainly <clears throat> changing clay makes a really big difference. So I'm centering even though I don't want to mix the clays too much, but nonetheless, the centering is even more important with something as delicate as this. So opening out now. Spreading, it's gonna have a smallish flat base, so I'm just gonna go over that a couple of times. Gonna just bring it in a bit before trying to bring some of that clay up. It seems to me that the important thing in this process is to be as even as possible and not to take the clay too far too quickly and not to catch on it so you're not stretching a particular area which is quite easy to do <clears throat> I've got guide dimensions which are about 20 centimetres diameter by about, about 12 tall. You can see the, the mixing of the clay here but actually it will become more clear when I use the rib at the end of the throwing process and then I will be turning. This right is getting a wee bit dry, I'm just going to put a bit more. I'm slowing down the wheel now. Needs to get quite a bit bigger yet, unfortunately. Now, I could probably hope to improve the profile, but I don't think I'm going to get much more volume out of this. So now I'm going to use, almost use the rib, I'm just going to try and fill out that hollow below the rim with my fingers before going with the rib.
it's important to get the, the wall as fine as possible because there will actually be a play of translucency in this. Um, Even the cutting is quite a thought process. Um, I want that wire to be as short as possible. And unusually, I'm going to cut it with the wheel moving to distribute the pressure as much as possible. And that is it. And that, that marking will become clearer once it's been just lightly turned as well. <laughs> 